Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. This is gonna be for Aries uh, for the first half of your May from the 1st to 15th. Uh, we're gonna take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aries people. So I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular, okay? I'm tapping into the collective Aries. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situation, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Aries, let's get started. All right, overall energies for Aries. What is surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their reading from the 1st to 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Ten of Cups, wow. Someone here is about to make a huge offer here to you, okay? Could be dealing with an air earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone here definitely wants, you know, a fulfillment here for you. Long-term happiness and fulfillment, okay? Um, we have the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the King of Swords. King, uh, so King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo Energy with that Strength card. Could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. And then we have the Hermit here, Virgo energy in the Six of Swords. I feel like someone here is making big plans here with you. I feel like someone here is making big plans to move forward here with you. Okay? So you could be dealing with a king here. This king could be you. I feel like someone here is definitely doing a lot of introspecting, self-reflecting here also about how to move forward. Okay? Someone here could be gaining the courage to commit to you. Um, someone here is definitely making some sort of plans. Uh, with a strength card, you know, someone here could be seeing you uh, as someone who's really attractive, okay? Um, very sexy, all right? Uh, the Hermit card, uh, Virgo energy. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. It seems like there's an energy where someone here is about to bombard you with communication about their plans with you in the future. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Okay, we have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, I feel like this person also wants to have kids here with you too. But there's definitely a lot of passion between you guys. It's it's also like, I feel like it's, um you know, it's a very mature relationship, but I feel like you guys also have like a lot of good time, like a lot of fun too. Because uh, I feel like you guys uh, could act like, you know, um, little little kids, like very giddy, okay? A lot of laughing, just very, um, you know, probably like a very adventurous connection, okay? Very spontaneous. Tell me about the strength card. Could be dealing with another Aries here, Leo or Sagittarius. You have the three of wands. Someone here is definitely looking towards the future here with you, uh, uh, Aries. King of Swords. Okay, we have the devil here. Capricorn energy. This is interesting. So I'm getting that this person you know, is very honest with you, okay? I feel like this person is um, a bit timid and maybe shy, okay? But I feel like you're about to see a whole different side of this person that you've never seen before, like a very sexual side, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not really getting a bad vibe from this devil energy. I feel like you're about to see a side of this person that you've never seen before, okay? Because this person comes in very cool, calm, collected, sort of like normal, you know, uh, you have nice conversations with this individual, but I feel like you've never really seen this person's sexual side, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Hermit. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, this is an individual that has a lot of feelings towards you, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone that you've just met recently, okay? Maybe in the last few months. 
If not, this person could be coming towards you. There's a lot of passion here. There's emotions involved here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Okay, and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. You know, it seems like, you know, it seems like there's quite, uh, there's some communication that's going on. Lots of communication. I'm getting that you guys are texting a lot. Maybe all hours of the day. All right. So let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Aries for May, at the first half of May from the 1st to 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. Some of you guys might be going into this where you guys both individually have your own kids already. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Death card and the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Swords and the Chariot here, Cancer Energy. Not quite sure where you fit into this, Aries. Either you're this king or this queen. But we're asking about your person. But like I said, you can switch to roles if you want. I mean, someone here is in this really peaceful energy right now, okay? Someone here is definitely going through some sort of major, like, transformation and awakening here. Someone might be focusing on their healing here. But, you know, I do feel like someone here is looking for a new beginning here. Someone here is definitely lo eventually lo looking for some sort of commitment. Whoever this individual is, this is an individual that's really successful in their money and their career. Very financially well off. This is a very patient individual too. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, the Death card, Scorpio energy here. So I feel like whoever this is, someone here is definitely doing a lot of releasing here. Some here is going through a lot of changes. You know, I, I, whoever this individual is, I feel like this person right now is not in a huge rush. But I feel like eventually you guys will move towards some sort of higher levels of commitment here. Okay? You know, it could be a situation that this queen is just focusing on their pentacles right now. Focusing on their own successes in life. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Temperance. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay. We have a true pair here, by the way. And it seems like someone here is in love. Yeah, someone here, this queen is in love with their king. I do feel like this is the same person, though. I do. Tell me about the death card. Yeah, with that devil energy, I'm not really getting a bad vibe from that energy. I just feel like someone here is like maybe thinking about you and fantasizing about you very sexually right now. And like I said, um, you might not have seen this very sexual side of this individual. Um, death. You know, justice. Libra energy. Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. The Chariot. And the Hierophant here. Taurus energy. Okay. I do feel like someone here, yeah, look at that. We have the Two of Cups here. So I do feel like this, I, I feel like this connection is going to be a very transformative connection. I feel like this is going to be a very healing connection for the both of you guys because maybe both of you guys have gone through similar experiences of being abandoned or something like that. But I feel like it's going to be very healing, okay? We have the Justice card here. Um, this could be a same-sex couple. doesn't have to be. I do feel like, you know, we have a queen here. Maybe the uh, this king also is doing a lot of releasing, okay? A lot of letting go before, you know, they start something new here. So I feel like this connection is going kind of pretty smoothly. I, I you know, you know, I feel like you guys are taking your sweet old time. You know, with that eight of wands and the pages there, you know, there's a lot of communication happening here, like a lot of messages going back and forth. You know, the, um, King of, uh, Knight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Chariot and the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. You guys will move towards a higher level, a higher levels of commitment, but, you know, I feel like a lot of you guys still have some inner work to do. Um, you know, not that you can't have, uh, you know, a happy relationship with all your baggage. You definitely can, but you, you just have to really stay on top of your baggage here so that you're not bleeding all over someone. Seems like you're definitely needing a soulmate here. I mean, this is looking really good. I do feel like this is new. This is new energy, okay? Um, 
outcome and advice here for Aries regarding your love situation for the first half of the week from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. What else does Aries need to know? What else does Aries need to know here? Okay, you have the Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. And then we have the Star card, Aquarius Energy, and the Six of Wands here. Okay. This might be really challenging because I feel like someone here might sort of be in their head about something here where they feel like it might not go anywhere. So I feel like someone here might be second guessing this. You know, Five of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Someone here is wondering if they should really invest in this or not. You know, I feel like, you know, this could this could be a connection that could be very in and out. And I feel like it could be a situation where it, it, it could stem from someone's uh, pain and, and trauma that they've been through. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Cups. You know, I feel like you guys are meant to be together. Because I feel like there could be a situation like every time someone walks away or both of you guys walk away, you guys end up coming back together. We have the Star card and the Six of Wands. Uh, both, of you, both of you guys could be in the public eye or something like that. Seems like there's some sort of awakening here. I do feel like this is a very healing connection. I do. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? All right, we have the Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, Star, and the Tower here, Six of Wands, and the Four of Swords. This could be a very challenging connection. Okay, so we have the King to Queen of Swords. This is a true pair right here. You know, I feel like things are going to move so smoothly, and then it's... I feel like both of you guys might have a hard time uh, with this because I feel like there's an energy of second-guessing this. There's an energy of self-preservation here. There's an energy of, like, weighing the pros and the cons. Uh, seven of Wands. We have Judgment here. Sagittarius Energy. You know, I feel like a lot of the answers that you guys will receive will be right in front of you. And I feel like you guys might ignore it. But I feel like you guys will come back to it and, uh, and come to that realization here. Uh, and then we have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Four of Swords. You know, I feel like the universe might be gifting you guys. And I feel like you guys might have a struggle with this. Where there could be, you know, some tarot moments here. And then they feel like you guys will come back together. This is interesting. So Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.